We're back at it again, guys, with another Boruto episode review, and um, this episode review is going to be like last week's episode review. You know, there really isn't much to discuss. There really isn't much to talk about in this Boruto episode review, so I'm not going to waste your time with like a 10 plus minute video that basically summarizes the episode. That's not what I do here. If you're new here, I'm going to talk about what I like and dislike about the episode. Uh, let's get started. I'm really looking forward to seeing how that third Otsuki clan member is going to be implemented into the anime. Uh, according to one of you guys, you told me in the comment sections that basically Kishimoto wanted the third Otsuki guy to be introduced into the anime, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what they're going to do with him. You know, maybe he fights Sasuke, maybe he fights Shikamaru, maybe he fights the Hokage's aides. I don't really know, okay? The point is that um, he's sort of like a wild card, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how he's going to sort of like incorporate himself in the anime. Now, the tuning exams are officially starting. Uh, on the next episode, and that, that is of course something that I'm also looking forward to. I hope we get to see a lot of the tuning exams, alright, and they basically don't rush this Momoshiki type arc, okay? I think they're gonna rush it, I think they're just gonna wanna get it over with, uh, because of course, when it comes down to the Momoshiki arc and the story, like, it's definitely been going pretty fast forward. But I hope we get to see a lot more of the anime. I want to see more of Gara's son. And I actually want to see him in action. You know, I don't want to see him in action for like two seconds, okay? Or I don't want him to get like like the five minutes, what? Or the two minutes of screen time that he got in the Boruto anime. No, no, no. Like, I, I want to see him in action, okay? And I also want to see the other ninjas in the Boruto universe uh, in action as well, okay? But I feel like since it's like very, very early in the anime, like the writers, maybe they don't really know who's going to be in the anime and who's not going to be in the anime. So they might not give a lot of screen time to a lot of the ninjas. With that said, if, if that does happen, you know, that, that's going to be completely OK. But of course, um, it's definitely going to be something that I definitely hope uh, takes place. OK, because I do want to learn more about the other ninjas of the Boruto universe. And of course, I do want to see two of my favorite teams, Team Denki and Team Sumire in action. All right. I definitely hope that they get some action. I definitely hope that they are involved somehow, some way, maybe, in the Momoshiki arc. Uh, I do hope that, of course, in the tuning exams arc, of course, we can also see them progress as well. So if you saw the original Naruto anime, you know that after the tuning exams, sort of like everything changed. You know what I mean? Like things changed drastically. I don't really think things are going to change extremely drastically after the tuning exams arc, but I do think that the ninjas uh, and sort of like the power level uh, is going to increase a little bit, okay? Since, of course, um, all of these gettings are going to see the high power that these, uh, you know, people had, okay? Uh, I also predict that, you know, maybe they're going to see, they're going to get inspired by the high power of the Jonin and stuff that, you know, they might just train to become even powerful. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, like, even if we get a time skip after the tuning exams arc, I will be completely okay with that, honestly. Uh, I, I think it will be uh, pretty, pretty cool. Because if we get a time skip, that means that we get closer to the Boruto Akatsuki arc. Uh, the Akatsuki of Boruto arc. And of course, I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to that. But now that I think about it, a uh, time skip, honestly, wouldn't be that amazing either. Because we fail, you know, we're not gonna get to see, of course, um, uh, what's the thing called? Basically, how much the characters uh, basically grow little by little. Okay. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it, guys, for this Boruto episode review. You know, like I told you guys, it's a short Boruto episode review. I'm not going to waste 10 minutes of your time just talking about nonsense. All right. Like, I'm just going to be, you know, telling you guys what I liked and liked about the episode, what I'm looking forward for future episodes. And uh, that's pretty much it. All right. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the Boruto episode review, uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And uh, hopefully next week's episode has a lot of stuff that we can talk about. Uh, because I really do miss doing the in-depth Boruto episode reviews. If you guys enjoyed the video, again, drop a like. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.